all right hi guys welcome to my channel my name is alexis and i'm a phd student living in hawaii it is monday august 24th and this is actually my first day of classes so this is going to be a week in the life of a phd student um quarantine edition i guess all right it's almost day 30 and it's time for my first class of the day it is going to be benthic biological oceanography so it's actually pretty relevant to my research and i'm very excited for this class it's only 45 minutes so we'll see how it goes all right class number one is done it was pretty fun actually the professor seems really really cool uh the class is pretty small so we did have to do those introductions but it was really nice and i'm very excited for this course so I have about an hour before my next class, and right now I'm going to start working on my TA stuff. I'm going to be designing a lab course that is supposed to be taught in the spring, so there's a lot of pressure on me to get this done and just make progress as soon as possible. So I'm actually going to do this work on the lanai because it's such a nice day outside, and it would just be nice to get some fresh air, enjoy the view. And now it's time for my second and last class of the day, Physical Oceanography. All right, all right, classes are over. That Physical Oceanography class was not too bad. A little bit different since everything is on Zoom, but solid day and it is 11.20, so I'm not nearly done with my day. I have all this free time that I have to fill with TA work, so. Time to get started on it. All right, it has been a day. I got some work done. I planned my weekly schedule, so I have a better idea of what I should be working on when and how I wanna manage my time. So, right now, I'm gonna work out, cause it's Monday, and today we're doing arms. Two seconds off, you got seven moves, three rounds, let's do it, okay. So I'm done working out for the day. I did a little bit of blog lotties and then some of my own arm workouts uh, with weights. But yeah, all good, all done. It's time to cook dinner, and the plan is to cook all of the veggies and tofu that I have, so I have food for tonight and tomorrow. All right, it's getting hot in here, but the food is done cooking, so I just gotta serve up the plates. Also, um, I got a package while I was cooking. Someone just knocked on the door. It kind of scared me a bit. But I got a package from my cousin and her fiance. So I'm very, very excited to open it. I'll probably do that right after I eat. All right, my dinner is done and in my new fancy bowl. And I topped it with sriracha. Looks so good. I finished my dinner. Now I'm gonna open that package. I'm so excited because I'm not really sure what they sent. And I wasn't expecting it until Thursday. So it came so early and I'm gonna open it. <laughs> A plus for the packaging. Let's see what they sent. Oh, yeah, man. Sour candy. Ooh, rips. I haven't had these in forever. Look at all that sugar. Delicious. Coffee, hazelnut coffee, wow. Fancy. Ah, classic. Pop-Tarts, essential. More coffee. And this is all instant coffee. This is perfect because sometimes I don't have that much time in the morning. So from Davina and David. How cute. It's from the Madonna Inn too. That's so cute. Ooh, you can't see this, but this is really, really good hot chocolate. It's like Mexican hot chocolate, I love it. Good morning all, it is Tuesday morning. I have two classes today. One is um, a lecture and the other is a lab slash discussion section for that same class. Then I have to do some TA work and go to the bank. But first, I'm going to make some breakfast. And I'm gonna try some of this instant coffee today. Wow, I'm off to a great start. I 
finished my first class of the day. It was marine microplankton ecology. I have a gap in my schedule before um, my lab class. So gonna run to the bank real quick and I'll be right back in time for my next class. Well, I had quite the trip to the bank. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. And I got my checking account set up, so there's that. I'm all done with classes for the day. Um, I have a little bit of time before I need to work out, so I think I'm gonna work on some emails or easier work like that. But pretty much done for the day. Uh, this lab class wasn't too bad. My professor for that class is so funny, actually. After you can start to do it for Okay, so it is getting a little late here. I've been trying to wake up earlier the past few days, like 5.30 before I was waking up at 6 a.m., but now I have early classes, so I'd like to just ideally wake up earlier so I have more time in the morning to like focus on myself, make myself a nice breakfast, meditate, do a little bit of reading for pleasure, and just doing everything that... I like to do in the morning before I get my workday started. It's been really, really difficult figuring out this work-life balance, I guess, and especially being stuck at home. I've kind of noticed these past few days that it's way too easy to just like look at my kitchen and be like, maybe I should do some dishes or like maybe I should put some clothes to wash. Maybe I should just vacuum my hair off of my floor real quick. I feel like that's an easy distraction from work and I'm still dealing with, I'm still figuring out how to deal with that. Um, but this first week is kind of like a trial run, I think. I'm just testing out different things um, and seeing what works best, honestly, to maximize my productivity. I just realized how much work this PhD is going to be. It's not just classes anymore, I have to design a whole lab course. Um, as part of my TA position, which requires like 20 hours per week, and yikes, that's a lot. In addition to my coursework, which requires a ton of reading, um, presentations, homework, and my own research, you know, I have all that, and my own personal life, so still in the process of figuring all of that out. Uh, I'll figure it out eventually, it's only week one, and I've only been a PhD student for like two days technically and it's stressing me out already, but it's the way it goes, right? I'll learn eventually. Alright, so I just got out of my benthic biological oceanography class. The first half was pretty nice and easy. just finishing where we left off on Monday. This second lecture was a little bit difficult. We were talking about the physics of the benthic boundary layer. First of all, I wasn't even sure what a benthic boundary layer was um, before this lecture. And then I also kind of struggled with physics, so you can imagine how that lecture went. So this is kind of where I really got lost. So yeah, this is gonna require a second look over the lecture and just reviewing, studying, reading those assigned papers. And yeah, I have physical oceanography later in about an hour. Yeah, in about an hour. And I'm gonna work on some emails right now. All right, so I had quite a bit of mail. My desk did come in, so I'm gonna do some unboxing, set up my desk, and all that. I'm really excited, and here it goes. So I'll take it to my room. All right, now I have to set this thing up, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, step two. Now I know why this would be much easier with two people. But here we go. Jeez. Uh. Oh, I did it the wrong way. I messed up. The holes are like this now. And that's not right. 
I have to do it over. Wait, what did I do? Hmm. Confused. Two hours later. Oh, this goes flipped that way. I see. <sighs> Took long enough. That's what I get for trying to do it fast and not paying attention to the instructions. Okay, that was only a slight hiccup. Now we're back on track again. I think it's supposed to be hanging like that. All right, I really shouldn't have assumed that this is easy peasy and I didn't need the instructions because I did it wrong. Again, I messed up again. Even worse this time. So when I flipped this earlier, I should have flipped that side because this side was the right way and now it's the wrong way. And now they're both the wrong way. So I have to redo this. I have to basically flip this side, flip that side. Oh, I'm so sad. Perfect. I finally did it right this time. So I finished um, putting together my desk and I just wanted to show you the other stuff that I got in the mail today. So I got two more journals, some nice colorful pens. Uh, that's the second journal. I think the pens will be nice for my planner and all of that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna get some lunch now. I am starving. My lunch actually looks kind of good today. I'm having avocado toast with an egg on top and papaya. Looks so good. Hi guys, it is Thursday morning and honestly today is the first day that I have woken up feeling well rested. Every other day this week I've been waking up quite tired. Uh, one of the days was because I didn't get much sleep which makes sense but in general I've just been feeling much more tired lately and I'm not really sure why. But I feel really good today and I've had a fairly productive morning just working on some stuff before my class starts. But now I have like 15 minutes until my first and only class of the day. And it is Marine Microplankton Ecology. I think that's what it's called. I have to find this Zoom link. Honestly, there's so many. <clears throat> And it takes a little while. And I'm so glad to have a desk now. It makes working so much easier. It doesn't get used a lot. Uh, I think because bacteria plankton was around first and the appreciation of our planktonic archaea is also fairly new. All right, so I'm all done with my only class of the day. Now I'm gonna get started on some TA work. So I really, really, really need to make some solid progress on designing this lab course. The professor that I'm assisting is kind of expecting a lot of progress initially, just to show him that I am capable of seeing this through as it is supposed to be taught in the spring. In order to get this lab course done, or at least make some good progress on it, I've decided to work in like long periods of time. So I've set aside basically like three to four hours at a time and I'm going to do a few Pomodoro sessions. So that's when you work for like 45 minutes straight and then take a 15 minute break. I've done it in the past and it seems to work very well because you just force yourself to sit there, focus, stare at the screen for like 45 minutes without being distracted by anything else like social media or just YouTube, whatever. So I'm gonna give that a shot. And then once the 45 minutes are over, you basically have 15 minutes to take a break, go on your phone, kind of whatever you wanna do. Um, let's get started. So I've made some decent progress on this lab about the atmosphere, its major pollutants, and air quality. But now I'm gonna get lunch because I'm really hungry. I have Amy's lentil soup. And yes, I'm eating soup when it's hot. I eat soup almost all the time, so yeah. 
that's lunch today. So it is 3 p.m. here and I'm technically done with TA work. Um, done in the sense that this was the time that I set aside to work on it and now it's the end of that time. There is still so much work to be done and so much progress to be made. While I was talking to the professor and emailing him back and forth, I told him that I would be sending him my progress by the end of the week, so that's either tomorrow or Saturday. The nice thing about telling him that I would send him this stuff is that it's kind of forcing me to get it done, but at the same time, I better have something for him, you know? I can't just say I'm gonna send him something and not send him anything, so. Yeah, I've kind of set myself a deadline that I have to stick to, so it's a good thing, but uh, there's so much work to be done. All right, I actually woke up so tired today because I was up way too late and now I'm up way too early. I made myself a quick breakfast because I do have class in a few minutes. And yeah, I can tell I'm tired because I almost put the Nutribullet back in the fridge and my spoon in the trash, so <laughs> tired. But this is my breakfast today. And this looks kind of gross, but it's a chocolate peanut butter protein shake with banana it's really good all right so i am done with my first class of the day now i'm getting ready for my physical oceanography class so i ordered some groceries uh through instacart since it's like a stay-at-home order and it would just be nicer not to have to go to the store right now so i'm going to put some of that stuff away and wash the veggies probably take a small nap and then get back to work I just got done working out for the day. Um, I worked out with Diego over Zoom. I realized I didn't film any of it, but maybe I should have, maybe next time. Hopefully, this is a more regular thing. We did extreme abs and total body today. Feeling good, glad I worked out. Uh, I kind of missed a few workouts this past week just because I've been doing my homework and classwork and trying to figure out the best schedule. Honestly, this week has been slightly stressful. Just because I didn't really know what I was doing, I didn't have a good schedule figuring it out. So I didn't vlog most of the morning and quite honestly that's just because it wasn't very interesting. I didn't do much. I was sitting on the couch editing some videos, getting caught up on YouTube stuff and then kind of just chilling honestly, not doing much. So now um, I'm kind of ready. As you can see, still very tired, but I'm going to Ollie and Justice's apartments, which is 30, roughly 30 minutes away. So I have quite a drive, gonna get over there, hang out for a bit. And yeah, that is basically my Saturday. All right, hi guys. So it is Sunday morning and honestly, I haven't done too much today. I had breakfast at Ollie and Justice's house or their apartment, uh, which is like 30 minutes away. Now I'm home and just catching up on some emails, not doing much, honestly. I just want to relax and kind of do nothing today because I'm really tired and it's been a long week. Because it's Sunday, I am going to take some time to plan my next week. I pretty much just need to plan out when certain assignments are due, keep track of all of these due dates, when I should be reading certain papers because I am doing a PhD, so there's a ton of papers that I need to read for my own research, but also for my classes. A lot of my classes have these discussions where we have to read a paper in advance before the class and then talk about that paper. And we're graded on participation, so it's important that I read these papers on time. So I kind of just need to plan that out for this next week. This is pretty much my semester on a page. So this page has due dates for all of the major assignments, exams, and readings that I have to do. I'm going to use this semester on a page to plan out what I should be doing this week. So as you can see, I have two homework assignments to do this week, one on Tuesday, one on Friday, and then two papers that I have to read pretty early on in the week. 
and I haven't done any of this stuff yet. I finished scheduling my week. I wrote down all of the homework assignments that I have to do. I've scheduled my workouts, and I filled out certain tasks that I wanna do on Monday, and we'll continue to fill out the rest as the week goes on. But that's it. And just to sum up this first week as a grad student, I've realized three things. One, Zoom meetings are very weird and having class via Zoom is just completely strange to me. And two, having to interact and socialize with your professor and classmates via Zoom is pretty weird and kind of unnatural, I guess. I didn't realize how important in-person interactions were, especially for getting to know the other students in your class because when you're on Zoom, there's no real opportunity to have these natural organic conversations because you kind of just hop on the Zoom link when class starts and then sign out when it's over. But yeah, it's just pretty unfortunate that we can't have classes in person, especially as a first year grad student new to the university and new to the island in general. So I'm finding that it's pretty difficult to meet anyone, especially those in your field right now. Hopefully things will change as I start going to campus and going into the lab to work on my research, but that just hasn't happened yet, and I'm sure things will get better throughout the semester. And the third thing that I've learned this week is setting up a work schedule that works well for you and sticking to that schedule. So just managing your time, that's been the biggest difficulty this week. All right, so that is it for this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like or leave a comment if you enjoyed it. As always, please subscribe to my channel to see more videos about my life as a PhD student living in Hawaii. All right, thank you guys so much. Peace.